So we start. Oh, I got a red LED. And um, stuff sticking to me here. You take the long one. One's long, one's short. I'm going to bend the long one first so I know that's the positive. See that? Now down here somewhere there is a crimp. Put your needle nose on there. And bend it over. If you try to just bend this over without doing that, it'll probably snap right off. So, you need a little bit on one side. So I'm doing this to all the long ones so I know which one's positive because that's the one the wire goes on, the colored wire. And that's the one, I mean the other one is the negative. So now I got a green one. That's the long end. Put that right on that crimp and bend it over. So I'm going to make all of them bent over and identify all my positives before I do anything else, any soldering. Always wipe your tip on a damp sponge Thin it up real quick. That way it doesn't oxidize so bad. Alright. I'm gonna pre pre tin this. Yeah, that's all it takes. And well we're gonna pre-tin some wires. This is not the wire I'm using on it. Right now I'm just going to tin all the wires up. That was green. This is orange. Sponge is a little too wet. this as straight as possible you see that ends bent up but I can fix that with these that's just going to make it hard for the heat shrink to go on I actually should put my glasses on because I can't even see if this is in focus. Let's back out a little bit. The lighting is low. It's really bad. I'm sorry. There. And then um, the heat shrink, I use the bottom side. It's warm enough to heat shrink. You could use a cigarette lighter, or if you have a hot gun, you can use that too. That's done. Alright, <clears throat> we're going to do that to all the rest, and then we will worry about the negative. So I'm taking the light, the front and putting it in here and then I'm taking my lights and this is like a jig put them all in here and line them all up 
And then, well, first I got to bend the grounds over. And then I'm going to take uh, and strip this blue wire and connect all the grounds together and come out at about the same same position as these guys here. Now I've done this one I don't have enough light but here's the, the left side with the long wires and the long wires and everything fits in the back and inside is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters inside of course these are th three millimeters thick so this outside is 16 millimeters <clears throat> to make the inside 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters when I get done I'll put the back on it so then you have your tower all right now, I'm going to take these back out. I'm going to bend the grounds to all line up the same way. I'm going to strip this wire, get it in the flux, solder it up, and then connect them all. Then, I'm going to take this off, turn it around. and put them all in. Alright. I think you know how to solder. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll be back.